This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at a Bruno Czech Republic, presenting the challenger, Yuri Ganisa Pushasa. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 33 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, Lova Tashira. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan? the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Good punch lands. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. He loaded up on that right hand, too. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Good, solid strike on the ground. I mean, how many can he take? Let's go. I need you to posture and pound on him. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. He's got his foot on the hips, now he's gonna attack a triangle choke here. Look for him to try to move the arm across so that he can start getting head pressure down. Oh, nice. No, nope. oh. He uses it to sweep into an arm bar. I need you to fight out of that. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. 
All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. When the opponent turns to the opposite side, he can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Got clip with the right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Ooh. So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. And the Olympians kind of like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fights progress. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop. Yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high crotch entry. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his ground and pop. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight. Oh! Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Back to the feet. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy. Being very accurate. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Hands high, hands high. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Ooh, what a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, massive overhand lands. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Look at the turtle in that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, single collar tie here. Again, shoots for a takedown. Not there once again. Out of range with that one. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Well, a really good second round. Oh! What a fantastic strike. 
to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Keep your hands up. Let's go. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm betting, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I would try to force you into saying that he doesn't do it again or something. Right, we'll I don't see. know. We'll see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your words. Look. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Good punch. Seconds remain in the round. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Let's get going now. Slips to avoid the right. Just out of range with the big right hand. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Teixeira gets hit with a kick. Whipped on the uppercut there. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. And they separate. Man, he is... That one appeared to stun him. Teixeira gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Oh, straight right. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but can't stop the shot. It'll finally start to exhaust him if he constantly goes up and down, up and down. He's got to split those legs and defend those takedowns before his opponent gets started. Just over three minutes now to go. 
Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Teixeira gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Just out of range with that left hook. Whoa! All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Oh, straight right. Oh, beautiful level change. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Let's go. Posturing heavy shots. The ground and pound has been there all night. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, listen, your eyes start to swell up a little bit. You need some better defense from you, okay? Let's keep those hands high. And... All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Unable to connect with the right hand. Teixeira gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just out of range with that right hand. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go change that finish down. Oh! Holy smokes! Oh! What a fight! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight 
that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At 41 seconds of round number four, 